Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and welcome to Tyrion 2000. This is a very, very old game, as you can see in the copyright in the bottom left corner. It's a game from 2009! Um, actually, as you can see, it's from 1999 in my haste and excitement and my tiredness. I misread. Anyway, carry on. And yes, it is a shoot em up! Um, I was actually inspired to do this after watching a video that Markiplier did. Um, can't remember for the life of me the name of it now, but it involved a bear that flew a plane. And yeah, it was basically like a redone version of a, a vertical shoot em up. Um, and it made me think of Tyrion. And I thought, do you know what? I love that game. I've spent so many years, literally years of my life playing this game. So, let us uh, get into a new game. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. Seriously, you spent so much time, so much time playing this game. Um, let's start it off on normal, give myself a little bit of a challenge. Right, so, this is my glorious ship. Um, you get to upgrade it. You get to, upshade, uh, get to upgrade the type, the guns. Oh my god, I've missed this so much. <laughs> um, yeah, all of them um, have sort of different powers and abilities. So as you can see, as you upgrade the Vulcan cannon, uh, it shoots out a faster rate. The multi-cannon, as that levels up, as you can see, gets more and more impressive, more and more spread. The proton cannon, likewise, more spread. The pulse cannon, again, more spread. Wow, that's impressive. I think I will go for the Vulcan cannon for now, because that was always one of my favourites. Uh, rig gun, let's go for... Yeah, let's go for the Sonic Wave. Because you can also... Uh, 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 change the fire mode. Uh, okay, that's worrying that she... That leaves me very low on energy. Do you know what? I think I'll leave that for now unless I can upgrade my generator. Uh, first of all, let me just quickly reconfigure my joystick because it seems to be going mad in this. There we go, that's a bit better. Right, where were we? Yes, upgradings. Uh, the shield, eh. Oh, I've already got the best. Generator, I can't afford a better generator at the moment. That's a shame. Sidekicks, can't afford anything at the moment anyway. What I will do... Even that is killing my energy. Wow, okay. So what happens if we go... I think it's having the second gun. It's just... Killing my energy. Do you know what? Let's go without for now. Let's go without. Let's be brave. Go with the Vulcan Cannon, the way you mean to go on. Upgrade that to the max. Power is stable. Eh, do 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 do. And we have these data cubes, of course. After gathering all the available data, I think I found the safest course into Tyrion orbit from my landing platform. After heading due west of the Fauci mines, you should come in contact with the floating battle platforms. Watch for the auto-targeting plasma turrets and especially the construction, the construction claws. Whoever designed these platforms sure counted on spies and infiltrators as they're loaded with small squadrons of surface attack drones as well. I think these platforms are filled with gravitic ore, which would explain why they're floating. No wonder Microsoul wants to mine them so badly. I just hope I don't get intercepted before I reach orbit. So I think that's possibly me. No, it's related, not funny. 
Uh, rated not funny. The prime chair said in convention, it's about we feel the economic benefits of the blah 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 blah. Yep, as as you can see, there's dear Trent. Trent, I think I, I think yeah, that must be me because it's mum. Dear Trent, glad to hear you're doing so well on Tyrion, son. Papa's so proud of you. Oh yes, how's your Hasdora friend? He seems nice. You'll have to bring him to this fucker cycle for dinner and a hollow snack. A hollow snack. How do you eat holographic? It's the future. Let's go for it. You're going to come back this fucker cycle, aren't you, son? We still have your room made up just like when you left. Papa wants me to tell you he finally has a job with Microsoft. It seems they're interested in blah, 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 blah. Jesus Christ. I forgot how much stuff there was to read in this. Okay, well, anyway, enough of the blah. Let's get on with the game! Oh, yeah! Right. Old school R-type action. Uh. Let's get some coins. Oh, yeah, I forgot because you can blow up the buildings as well. And I must say, one of the things that's always amazed me about this game, you know, despite the fact this is, say, in the age of the Sound Blaster 16, is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is always so heavy. Oh, dear. Do you know what? I think I've made a mistake here because I really don't have enough power for this. My guns are struggling. Or rather, when my shields are down, my guns are struggling. Oh, come on. Data acquired. Ugh. Something's telling me this was a lot easier on keyboard and mouse. Or rather, just keyboard. Got a secret level. Awesome. Block the buildings, get some points. Ow, stop hitting me. Get my shields back up. Get these platforms. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't know. It just feels incredibly jittery because uh, I'm using my Xbox control at the moment. And I mean, I, I mean, I love the game. As you can tell, I should be talking more. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm just totally engrossed in the gameplay and trying to get everything. I mean, I have memories probably of having a far more upgraded ship and being able to like nuke pretty much everything in this level. Um, yeah, you go through, there's a whole storyline, you upgrade further and further, um, you come across tougher and tougher bosses. Um, obviously, I mean, this literally is the first level, so... I was going to say, this is the easiest that it gets. Well. <laughs> let's try that again, shall we? Let's, uh, let's change the front gun to a pulse cannon. I think I prefer the pulse cannon, because uh, I don't think the multi-cannon... Yeah, I don't like the spray of the multi cannon. So let's just go for that instead. See how that works out. That was embarrassing. And I managed to get right up to the boss as well. That's so irritating. Wow, okay, this takes things takes care of things far quicker. I think the Vulcan Cannon is one of those to-be-had-later weapons. 
Like once you can get a uh, substantial generator. Data acquired. Because this is just tearing things apart, as you can see. <laughs> Oh, yes, of course. There's uh, lots of different secret levels as well. Uh, now, where is it? I believe, if I remember rightly, there's something over on the right-hand side that will appear soon. Very soon. There, that block. I think it's this block. Yeah! Uh, I can't remember for the life of me what the secret level is because um, this game likes to mix things up. Um, it becomes... I can't believe I just missed that gem as well. Um, it likes to be not just your vertical shoot time. Damn, I missed another secret level as well. Never mind. Um, yeah, it likes to throw in little mini games as well. Um, so like the old uh, Space Invaders game. Obviously that was a non-scrolling, but still enemies like falling in from the top on, of you. They've got their own version of that within this. Um, and it's, it is themed to this very sort of cheesy Bavarian sort of drinking theme. And uh, it's quite amusing, quite amusing to say the least. Watch their shields. Oh, I'm still okay for now. Um, but yeah, I mean, oh, I mean, I know it's called Tyrion 2000, but all throughout, it must, I'm, I'm sure the original Tyrion came out in the early 90s. I want to say, I'm trying to think, I was definitely in school. Must be 97, 98? Not sure. Not sure. But yeah, fantastic game. Um, because yeah, they did a Tyrion 2000 remake uh, because they found out that it wasn't... Uh, because obviously it's a DOS-based game. They found that it wasn't compatible on the later versions of Windows. And this is before DOS Box... Uh, DOS Box... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Moral of the story, stay away from the spikes. Ay, 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 ay. Last Good attempt. Time. This is so embarrassing. And I think what I will do... Yeah, game speed is on normal. Okay, good. Yeah, um... They found out that it wasn't compatible on the new Windows operating systems. So they had to release a Windows compatible version. And that is where Tyrion 2000 came in. Uh, came in on an installer rather than having to run it through DOS itself. Um, and then as the versions of Windows advanced, that <laughs> became unusable. So everyone reverted back to the DOS box. Uh, well, when DOS box then came out, everyone reverted to DOS box. Um, and yeah, it's run touch wood beautifully ever since. And it, I must admit, it's, it's quite amazing when you think of all of the types of games that we have out now, all of the advanced graphics. I've come back to a game of this age because, again, oh, damn, I missed the crystal. Because, again, it's the gameplay. It's just so addicting. It genuinely is. Um... And again, it's made me think of a lot of games that have come out. Missed the secret level again, although I did get the first one. Um, yeah, it made me think of a lot of games that have come out recently. Um, one in particular that I'm sure a lot of you have seen, um, if you haven't played it yourselves. Cuphead. It's... I mean, yeah, I know, obviously, the style is retro, but the actual game itself, it's one of the old-school stage bullet hell platformer-esque games. You know, it's... It's an old, tried and tested format which has worked so many times before. And I think it's, you know, it's proven its success. People have forgotten the joys of simple yet infuriating gameplay that you have to master. I mean, yeah, I mean... Don't get me wrong, I've, I mean, as you guys know, I've got an HTC Vive and I'm, I, I love the hell out of it. 
and I love a lot of the modern games that have come out. I really, really do. But sometimes I feel it is about, you know, getting back to basics, you know. Going back to the original Mario or the original Sonic, and I don't mean on an emulator where you can save your progress, because, you know, that ruins half of the point. It was the frustration of... Right, stay away from the spikes. Stay away from the spikes. It was the frustration of knowing you have no save and that... You know, if you were interrupted, if, if you were called down for dinner and, God forbid, you had to turn off your console or whatever, you lost your progress. That was it. Game over, man. You had to start from scratch again. And, you know, you would, you would spend weeks, months mastering how to defeat these bosses or complete these levels and learning the paths that you need to take. All sorts of things like that. Like, for example, I can't believe that I can actually remember the majority of this boss. That I had to take out the sides first, and yada yada yada. Whoops. Forgot about that my attack, obviously. But yeah, it's, you know, it's simple, addictive, fun gameplay. Level oh yeah, although it took three attempts. We got there in the end. Oh, 70% destruction. Abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. But, uh, yeah, speaking of which, this game is free. Uh, Tyrion 2000. I think I got this one off of GOG, if I remember rightly. Um, please check it out. Oh, there we go. Better shields. Or oh, better armor, anyway. Oh, I can afford the generator! Yeah! And the Vulcan Cannon is still an option. Right, excellent. Right, well, I'm going to stick with this for now. Just until I got a bit more money, because I've got the generator now, which was important. The shield, I can worry about that later. Sidekicks. Eh. Way too expensive anyway. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, this game is on GOG. Uh, it is free. Uh, so if you like the look of it. Oh yes, the bonus level! Oh, let's see which one this is. Bubbles! Bubbles, I think this was um, mostly a points-based one. Yes. Whereas you can see, there's only one particular one that you can actually do real damage to, even though the rest of them flash up. Um... Unless I shoot that one in particular. Shields are low. Data and then, uh, yeah, it won't. Hey! Oh, damn, I wanted that. Lots of points. Never mind. Um, and here comes all the coins. Sorry, I've completely lost track of what I was saying now. Oh, dear. And everything has gone all green, so I can't tell. Oh, shoot! Damn. I couldn't see the bloody barrier thingies coming down towards me because of the green. Damn. Let's try that again. And yeah, because of all of the action, I had completely lost track of what I was saying, so apologies. It's just, as I said, very, very addicting gameplay. Very easy to get sucked into. And again, the soundtrack. Even though it is very retro, obviously. It's classic. I love it. Oi! Shoot, that really didn't help me. Okay, focus, focus, focus. So you've got to look out for the bubbles. They release gems. Hey, there was a wall there. Didn't see that. There's another wall there. Okay, there's more bubbles here. There's a wall there. And this is this must be really really exciting commentary. Oh, there's bubbles. There's a wall. There's bubbles. There's a wall. There's bubbles. There's a wall. I'm afraid that's literally all my mind is capable of doing at the moment. 
with that and trying to collect as much as I can. Okay, things are slowed down. That means things are going to get serious. Ay -ay 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 so at least my shield's standing up to it. Level completed. Completed bubbles. Seventy-eight percent destruction. Not bad. No cubes collected. Eh, that's all right. Didn't need any this time. But thanks to that bonus level, hopefully now. I do level five. No, I've lost the wave rear gun. That's a shame. I could equip myself as a mega Vulcan cannon beastie thing. No, because I can't afford it, can I? Front gun. What if I reduce the cost of that? Right sidekick. <laughs> I can afford it. And that is struggling with power though. Let's try this out. Hey, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Ooh, which one? Asteroid 1 or Asteroid 2? I completely forgot that there were paths in this that you could choose. Let's do Asteroid 1. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, it looks like I've got some sort of shieldy thingy. Yep. That's useful. It helps destroy things for me. And... It's so loud in my ears! All I can hear is just immense rapid gunfire and explosions and it's so freaking loud. Now I can see that my sh generators are struggling a little bit. So I'll lay off the fire every second or so. Data acquired. Ay, 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 ay. Oh my god, it's so hard to keep track of what's going on. Those were, were those massive bullets that just came towards me? Yes, I think they were. Oh yeah, 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 it's so loud! So many explosions! Ah, right, okay, we're at a static platform. Right, next. Ugh. Secret level, another one. Result, didn't even know there was one there. Just wanted to destroy the face. Shields, what's your shields? Good, they're back up again. Oh, man. Wait! Whoa, 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 what are you? What are you? What are you? I don't know what you are, but I don't like you. You're dead anyway. Cool. I thought that was a boss. Maybe not. Level oh. completed. Oh. 46%. Yeah, that shows that how much there is to destroy on that level. <laughs> My god. Yeah, next thing's a better generator. I can get the Sonic Wave back. So if I... Can I switch to Sonic Wave and then... No, I've lost my front... Damn. What if I take off the Falcon Cannons?
you're allowing that, it's still upgrading, it's still going up. Let's give this a go. Um, yeah, because one of the things that you can do on the rear gun is another bonus. Oh, yeah, of course, the other bonus level. You can change, there we go. You can change whether it shoots out the sides or it comes out the front. So it's even more firepower. But damn, I seem to be getting pummeled. See, this is the problem. You change the configuration and... Oh, no, you find out that it's basically crap. I should have stuck with what I had. Data acquired. Unless, hopefully, this gives me enough points, etc. to... Come on, bring it on. Right in my face. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, Christ, it's getting fast. I just want to survive. I just want to survive. Oh, shit. That was shooting things at me. That's not a nice asteroid. Bad asteroid. Ay, 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 ay. And bear in mind, this is just on normal speed. This isn't on fast. There is a slow mode, which slows the gameplay down slightly. But, to be honest with you, what the hell is the point in that? Ah, oh, I only just made it through that. Yeah, not surprised, 38%. I can upgrade my generator. Good. Damn, can't afford it on both sides. Um. A rear Vulcan. Oh dear. Now let's, let's stick with the sonic wave for now. Hopefully things will improve. Savara! Here we go. Oh yes, I remember this one. Whoa, hello. Data acquired. Yeah, because this one has the other jet planes that shoot incredibly fast Vulcan cannons as well. And again, that soundtrack. So, so good. Dum, dum, dum. Wait, 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 I forgot about you guys. Let your shield get back up. Can I actually kill you? No. That's my shield ship. There we go. Got my armor back. Yay, 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 yay. Definitely want everything facing forward on this level. Blimp! Massive blimp of death! No, we can't destroy it. Damn. No, no chance. Oh, rear weapon power up. Beautiful. Thank you very much. But yeah, again, old school gaming at its finest. Way I took a lot of damage there. Oh, I nearly killed him. Ah, there we go. There's the ones with the really, really powerful freaking guns. Oh, I nearly got the blimp. Oh, I nearly killed it. That would have been nice. Large enemy approaching. Right, 
Let's do this, Savara. Oh my god, it's taking a lot of damage. Christ almighty, it's taking a lot of damage. Will you just die already? No! Don't trap me in a corner! Oh no, oh no, come on, 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 come on. Yeah Oh, only forty three percent destruction. And it felt so epic. Oh dear. Well, Anyway, I'm going to uh, leave this one here. So, thank you very much for joining me. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Um, as I said, check it out, GOG, it's free. Um, yeah, again, thank you very much, and uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys. Oh yeah, if you if you like it please let me know leave a like leave a comment if you want me to continue doing this as a series let me know and i will um again i'll be hoping to get back into some more vr stuff soon just had some problems with my body um also been quite busy with the uh with the trippy band that um that i'm a part of uh, but yeah things are slowing down again well <laughs> i say that it's coming up to christmas now so obviously things will be getting busy again um but yeah i'll try to get some more videos up more frequently and uh, again thank you again very very much for coming along for watching the video for your support and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video bye